Okay, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. My name is uh, Puan Nurul Diana Jasni. I'm a uh, Deputy Chief Librarian from UITM Puncak Alam. Uh, currently based at uh, Library Puncak Alam Campus. Okay, so uh, today's session, we will try to cover EndNotes 20. Uh, for your information, uh, UITM uh, license this software. So that's why when you try to download, we are uh, trying to secure it using a password. So please request the password uh, from Chat with Librarian at our library website. So they, our librarian will give you the password. Then after that, you can extract the uh, zip file. And then inside the folder, there will be a product key inside. Then you can just proceed. Okay. Uh, regardless, you choose custom or typical. Uh, it doesn't matter. You just uh, can uh, use both custom or typical. Okay. So uh, before we start, okay, I will go through the slides first. And then after that, we will go to hands-on session. So all the way sessions, if you have any questions, you can just uh, put in the chat box or you can unmute yourself. Okay. Assalamualaikum Puan Yena. Ya, berkesalam. Sorry ganggu. Uh, okay. Apa ni, uh, saya tak boleh nak check kepada semua orang lah. So boleh tak allow saya untuk check kepada semua orang? Supaya saya boleh komunikat juga untuk bagi link-link berkaitan. Kena check dekat letak kat mana lah. <laughs> stop sharing. Saya stop sharing. Wait ya. Sebab selalu saya nampak ada untuk all tapi ini saya tak nampak all tu. Uh -uh, tak boleh. Saya pun tengah mencari ni. Mana dia punya function untuk check. Chat for all. Hmm, Last time yang Hazrul punya session pun saya tak boleh chat to everyone. Uh, uh, tapi saya boleh. Uh, uh, mungkin bo boleh co-hostkan saya boleh tak co-host? Okay, wait then. Macam mana nak jadi kukus sikit sebab kan? Right click eh, sekejap. Sekejap eh. Okay, saya reclaim lah, saya reclaim. Ya, ah, boleh. Saya reclaim dulu nanti. Host key, saya tak ada host key pula reclaim. Tak boleh, host key tak ada. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Tak jumpa dah. Okay. Boleh? Co-host? Ah, okay, thank you. Ah, okay, dah jumpa. Ah, everyone. Okay, boleh. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. 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 So I will proceed with the uh, slide presentation. Then after that we will go uh, online session, uh, hands-on session. <laughs> okay. So today we will be cover reference management software and notes. Uh, so bear in mind, so ITM already uh, licensed to EndNote uh, EX20. That is the latest one. So this module will try to assist you in terms of how students and researchers uh, organize their research and then how to manage your references, and then how to cite. So today's session will be using the Webex, uh, and then uh, the uh, module highlights, I will uh, try to uh, give you a brief of introductions, and then after that, uh, the installation guides, and how we can proceed to use in-text citation and manage your bibliography. So today's session will be two hour sessions. So all the way, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can just uh, uh, send me a message chat if you are having difficulties okay so introduction to reference referencing so as i mentioned referencing is uh, for all students especially for postgraduate or undergraduate you have to make sure that you need to acknowledge uh, you need to acknowledge someone in terms if you are using uh, uh, materials from books online books physical books or from the websites because if you not give a uh, not uh, acknowledge somebody. So we afraid after you uh, run through the plagiarism checker, we afraid uh, your plagiarism checker or the similarities will be uh, more than 30%. Okay. So what is referencing? Referencing are those that are directly mean, uh, include in your actual text. So sometimes uh, certain student, they like to put in quotes. And then sometimes they just put copy certain several paragraph and then put in their uh, documents or their assignments. But regardless of anywhere, make sure that you 
uh, rephrase or paraphrase. Okay, for you RTM, currently uh, we are using APA American Psychological Association style. Okay, but maybe some of the researchers you want to send your paper to conference, you want to send your papers to uh, uh, journals. Okay, uh, maybe uh, you can change. Okay, so. When you using software, regardless of Enos or Mendeley, so we can simply just change uh, automatically. Okay. Okay. Next is, okay. When you citing, you need to know. Okay. Normally, if you are using sample books, so definitely you know who is the author, what is the publisher years. Okay. What is the publication details? Okay. If you are using website also, you need to have the details of the website. Okay, when it was published, where it was published, and what is the format? Is it books? Is it a report? Is it a conference? Is it a journals? Okay, make sure you have all the details. This is when you want to enter the information that you use manually. So in EndNotes, we also allow you to uh, enter the information details manually. Okay, so when do I do reference or citation. So as I mentioned, when you, you, you are using textbooks, you are using journals, you are using a lot of uh, format and a lot of materials in your assignments or your projects. Okay. So bibliography. Bibliography, normally you will see at the end of your writing or any of journals publication. Okay. So bibliography will include all the information. So the analogy is like this. Okay. Uh, references, uh, bibliography, sometimes you just read certain paragraph or you are you just referring to certain pages in certain uh, materials example this one books okay so you do not copy of uh, extract something or certain paragraph or certain uh, information or you rephrase after that in your writing so it just give you an idea so that means this information will be appear in your bibliography okay so references regardless you copy paste you paraphrase you uh, extract certain information uh, exactly from any journals any materials it means that information will be appear in your assignment as a references okay bibliography sometimes we just refer to certain pages okay i get some idea to write start my writing so that means this information you cannot just avoid you have to put this information in your writing and uh, you put this one this book as a bibliography okay so in endnotes we have an option either you want that uh, information appear in your writing or you want that information just appear in your bibliography okay so mainly do not have these pictures <laughs> okay yesterday we have a manually session so writing style, there's a many writing style that uh, I have uh, currently. So as I mentioned, your ITM, we still maintain APA reference, APA American Psychological, and the latest one is seven edition. Okay. Okay. So this is normally for social science, they are using APA, but uh, maybe some of the researchers we have a uh, different uh, writing style, uh, example, IEEE, e, BMJ, and so on. Okay. So APA references, so in text citation within the body of your paper. So this is the example. So the references list will appear like this. Okay. This is the author followed by the year and then the details of the uh, information of the material that you use. Okay. So normally it will be on the separate page at the end of your paper. Okay. So this is the common rules. So APA follow the author's year format as I uh, show you just now. And then it will be followed by the year. So only author's last name or surname is used. Commonly name, full name, first name can be used. And in the references list, uh, APA, you can see the differences will be alphabetical order. Okay. So, okay. 248 participants. Are you with me? Okay. You can put in chat. Okay. 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 If you want to give me emoticons, uh, okay. <laughs> so, I will know that you are uh, the same page with me. Okay, you are following what I'm trying to explain. Okay, so APA style common rules. This is some example. The name, the Chinese name. Okay, this is Malay names. Okay, uh, Indian name. Okay, so you can actually, uh, you can just Google or browse. APS 7 guide. Okay, this is, uh, there is a complete guide uh, because there is a new uh, edition and new editing information updates on APA 7. Okay. 
So this is the reference list. Okay, this is the book. This is just the example how is uh, the references will be displayed. Okay, so this is when you paraphrase. As I mentioned earlier, you need to paraphrase. Okay, so you will be safe from the plagiarism checker. So you will get uh, not more than 30%. Okay, so if you are paraphrase a certain uh, paragraph or certain statement, so this is how the uh, in-text citation will be displayed. Okay, the second one, if you are put in direct quote. So in EndNotes, we can adjust. We can also, at a letter, you can uh, put the page number also using the EndNotes. Okay. So this is the example for journal articles, for electronics, for print. Okay, still the same. The rules is will be the same. In-text citation, paraphrase. The second one will be in-text citation, direct quote. Okay. So this is the web page. Okay, so for ethics, I think uh, most of your supervisor, most of your lecturers already mentioned about uh, this ethics and plagiarism, especially if you are from Faculty of Health Sciences and Medic, I believe you also have to uh, get a consent ethics if you want to use uh, any questionnaires, you want to use any survey, right? Okay, so make sure uh, you follow the ethics and plagiarism. Okay, so as I mentioned, UITM, 30%, the similarities of plagiarism. Okay, so this is my original uh, master thesis. So first run, I get 39% and then the second one, 70%. Okay. So reference management software. Okay, currently UITM students or UITM uh, academician and lecturers, they are using both. Either Mendeley or they are using EndNotes. Okay, bear in mind, if you are already... Uh, mean uh, satisfied if we are using Mendeley, just maintain using Mendeley. Because sometimes there's a student halfway done their research proposal, they are think, uh, okay, I need to change my software. Okay, there's a step-by-step uh, -step that you need to be done. So just maintain. If you use Mendeley, maintain using Mendeley. If you are using EndNotes, just maintain using EndNotes. So normally people will ask me, or lecturer will ask me, which one is better? Okay, depends. But sometimes, for faculty of medic, faculty of pharmacy, faculty of health sciences, uh, they are prefer using EndNotes. Okay, I will show you. This is because if we want to put uh, manually some of the materials that we are using, okay, Mendeley only allow you, uh, there's all 20 formats documents, okay. But in EndNotes, uh, there are more than 20. That later I will show you inside EndNotes, okay. And then, uh, Mendeley do not have the function uh, appear only in bibliography, appear only in both citation and references, but EndNotes have these features, okay? So this is the uh, Mendeley versus EndNotes, uh, but regardless, uh, you are from which faculty, uh, if your supervisor just uh, prefer Mendeley, okay, just follow. Uh, as long as you follow the step-by-step -step and follow the ethics and plagiarism, okay? Okay, we will provide the software registration detail in WhatsApp channel. Okay, actually from library website, uh, I will show you uh, where you can get this software. As I mentioned, okay, this is the Punca Alam Library. Okay, this is Punca Alam Library.uitm. And then on your top, you will see download. Okay, so when you see download, okay, click. There is software link. Okay, just click software link. And then choose either you want EndNotes 20 or EndNote X9. But currently, I advise you upgrade to EndNotes 20. Okay. So, from this uh, page, actually, we have this one, EndNote Training. You can click this link. Okay. So, this link will inform you about the training that currently going on. And then, for this EndNote, how to download, just follow this link. Okay. Let's follow this link. Okay. So, there is a step by step. Just follow this step by step. Whether you Windows or you Mac user. And then there is also a quick guide and recommended links. Okay. So, this software required a password because we are licensed uh, to this software. So, you can just request using our chat we have on your bottom, uh, on our bottom website. Okay. Chat will uh, will respond to your request. Okay. 
Okay, I will continue. So, iNotes is a reference management software. I know there's a lot of software inside. Some of them is like RefWork. Uh, there's a lot Zotero. Uh, but currently, you are EM. We are using iNotes and also Mendeley. So, same. Uh, this is the same step-by-step uh, -step from library website. This is library.uitm.edu.my. So, same, similar. Just follow step-by-step -step software and then choose whether it's Windows or Mac. Okay, so click the folder download and notes 20. Okay. Okay. Okay, so once you uh, complete to download the zip file, so once you want to extract the zip folder, this is the password you need to require and enter. So this is that I mentioned you need to request from uh, our chat with librarian. Then they will give you the password and then you just follow inside the folder there will be the serial and product key okay the format will be in uh, text are uh, not bad and then you can just follow step by step so you have to sometimes you have to copy a uh, control c and then paste the product key. okay please do not share this product key do not share this password to other users especially especially that are not from uitm uh, verified students okay make sure if you are 100% uh, UITM student, UITM academic lecturers, you are able to use this uh, software. Please do not share. Okay. So, how to install? This is the step by step. So, okay. Just follow. Next. Okay. Double click to the uh, application installation. So, choose I have a product key. Okay. As I mentioned, just copy and then control C and then paste the product key. Then click finish button. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter if you choose custom or typical, but normally we will advise students to choose custom. It's just the uh, differences of the features. Okay. Okay, let's start to uh, create a new library uh, using EndNotes 20. Okay. So normally for the first time user, uh, they will ask you to fill up all your details. This is because uh, you will see there's a sync synchronization button inside your EndNotes 20. Okay, can we start? Uh, I need you to open your EndNotes 20, everybody, and then create a new library. Okay, you can rename the file name, you can put uh, any name you want, example, my research paper, or if you have existing project, you can open an existing library project EndNotes. Okay. Okay, 263 participants. Okay. Okay. So, for the first timer, that you need to uh, register like this. And then, your annual registration is complete. So, this is the interface. Okay. Okay. You realize, if you want to double check, can everybody please open your Microsoft Word? You will see there's a tab on your top, EndNotes 20. Even if you click to references, there's a site while you write and. Everybody okay? Okay. Do you see it? Yes. The tab? Okay. So inside your Microsoft Word, make sure you are using a uh, licensed Microsoft Word uh, 365. Uh, do not use Microsoft uh, like WPS because EndNotes do not support this. Okay. Okay. So I already uh, mentioned about this. Okay. Let's go live. Okay. So, this is my EndNotes. Sometimes after you install, uh, your EndNote is not uh, appear at your desktop. You can just search at your program files. Okay. You just type EndNotes uh, then. Okay. You can uh, put EndNote at your desk computer desktop. Okay. So, currently, this is my library. But if you want to start fresh, you can just simply go to File and then click New. Okay, the file name, you can put anything and then the, uh, you can choose whether you want to put at desktop, you want to put uh, at your computer, your PC, your drive, but I will uh, advise you to put at desktop and then we we'll rename, example, my project, okay, my research project, any, any name that you want to put and then click save. Is there any question currently? No. 
There's no questions. Okay. So this is my new blank document. Okay. Fresh new uh, notes library. Okay. So let me check. Is there any chat? Question? Yes, this session is recorded. Uh, this session will be recorded. Okay. Please uh, follow the link. Uh, WhatsApp. Uh, and then from there, we will give you and share you the recorded version after this. Okay, Encik Ismail tak full lagi eh, that group currently. Still okay. Okay, Puan Di. Group dah okay dah. Okay. Okay, before we start, is there any question you want to ask me? Shall I proceed? Okay. Okay. Let's start. Okay, from your left, okay, there will be a three panel display. This is your... Our references, your navigation, uh, where you can find your group. Groups will be sort of like a uh, folder you created. Okay. This is your uh, where all your references will be listed. And then on your right, there will be a uh, area where you can do editing. Okay. So for health uh, sciences student, okay, if you have already have uh, articles at your desktop, articles in your computer, Okay, let it be. But I want to show you there is a one function. Okay, this is from you. Uh, this is using PubMed. Emilia Nushafi. Wait, eh. Emilia Nushafi. There is a chat. Let me check. You have previous EndNote 6. Should I delete this file? Uh, the EndNotes, e, uh, the latest version will replace the old one. Okay. But your references, your project will maintain. Okay. Okay. okay, for student, health sciences or medic, okay, this is the quickest way if you want to search for articles. Normally for open access or free articles. Okay, bear in mind in any of databases, there is an open access free articles, but I advise you to use library websites and uh, log in easy access to get, because you ITM subscribe to almost 30... 30 something, 30 something if I'm not mistaken, uh, 30 something online databases, so make sure you use online databases. But some, I've uh, received several requests from students, uh, Madam, can you uh, can you show us uh, using PubMed inside uh, EndNotes, okay? So in this area, you can put title, here you can uh, set up, uh, I mean you can uh, Focus certain years that you want. Okay, you can put title or keywords you want. Okay, let's say I want to find. Okay, let's say I want to find articles related with COVID nineteen. Okay, I can just click search. But you have to wait because uh, the endnotes currently try to searching from the PubMed uh, databases. Okay, so if you want, okay, there's a results currently twenty five. Results, but there is menu currently overall eighty seven thousand. Okay, so you can just tick this uh, this one. I want this the second one. I want this one. I want this one. Let's see. I choose. Okay, I already choose these articles. Okay, what you can do right now? We can just simply click at the selected online resources. Okay, you can this one means. Uh, the articles that you already choose from PubMed will be directly goes to your uh, online uh, endnotes. It means this is your library online. Okay, but uh, there is one way. Okay, you can right click. Okay, okay. First we put first. Okay, I put plus. Okay, so I already add the selected online records to my local library. It means to my endnotes. So. When I click to all references, okay, so I already have one, two, three, four, five that I extract from PubMed, okay. So from this, okay, you can uh, give information or just use this endnote function. There is click. You see this one? Search the web for full text document for the selected references. Okay, if you did not see any paperclip sign. Okay, there is no icon of paperclip. 
this article, the second one, and then the rest of the articles. It means there is no PDF articles. It just gives you the metadata of this information only. Okay, so what we can do, okay, either you right click, okay, find full text, or you can just click this one. Okay, you can click this one. Okay, so what happened? Can you see? My endnotes are searching the full text. So I'll give a few minutes for endnotes to do the searching of the full text. So this is the quickest way. Because sometimes uh, I know students from health sciences, students from medic faculty, they are using PubMed in uh, looking or searching for articles. So this is one way. Okay. So if I not manage to get the full text, so the results, or you can see the paper clip, okay, inside the endnotes. Okay, let me try and find the text. Searching, searching, searching. See, searching, no full text bar. Okay, if you see paper clip, then there will be a PDF articles. Okay, I just highlight. Okay, let me try different articles. Same step, add to my references. Okay, you can just shift using shift function. Then you can ask endnotes to find full text. So if there's a paper click appeal, it means you are successfully able to retrieve the PDF articles. Okay, so that is one way. Okay, let's move to how you want to add full text. I uh, mean, if you have already have like in my computer, okay, close this one. Okay, you see, this is my previous project. So if there is a PDF, uh, the paper clip appeal in your in notes, it means uh, you are able to uh, read or you can even view the PDF articles. Okay, so I will close my previous just minimize. Okay, let's say inside your computer, you have one folder, maybe inside there, there's a 35 articles, more than 30, or some students, they like to put at desktop. Okay, so how we want to uh, put inside our, put inside our endnotes, okay. Check. Okay, so we just used file, on your top, on your left, file, and then there is a import. So remember, if you have one by one articles, you can just choose file. But if you already have a special folder inside your computer, you can choose folder. Example, just folder. Okay, make sure to set the import option to PDF. Okay, PDF, and let's say inside your folder, there is a sub subfolder. You can just tick these features. So you already inform in notes. So include files in the subfolder. Okay. So I don't have the subfolder. I just untick. So I choose folder. Remember, my folder article is at desktop. My desktop, my desktop. Wait there. Eh? My desktop. Okay. Set my desktop and then you can just click the folder you want to choose and then click OK and then click import. So give a notes a few minutes. So I notes is trying to import the whole folder. Okay, there is no question. Okay, and notes is importing whole folder. Okay, everybody, okay, you can follow. Okay, so this is the articles. So as you can see, there's a imported references five articles. Okay, so and notes will inform you. Okay, as you can see, this is uh, my PDF articles and then there's a paper clip appeal 
and you can directly read this article inside your MS. Okay, sample like this. You can see the PDF. This is the article details. Okay, so you can open. So if you open, so you can read. Okay, let me make. Okay, you can read this article inside your M notes, and then you can put uh, sort of uh, notes inside during uh, you read uh, during your read process. Okay, let's say you want to review this article, you want to put certain notes, you want to put certain remarks. Okay, you can just choose this one. Okay, markup and annotation. Just click this markup and annotation. Okay, you can see this is the sticky note function. So sticky note something like. Uh, sometimes you want to highlight or you want to make a reminder. Okay. So you can just put certain like comments like this. Okay. To put this section inside. So you can put anything. Okay. Inside my uh, literature review lesson. Okay. Okay. So you can. Uh, put certain remarks okay and then uh, sometimes students they like to highlight certain paragraph okay during you, uh, you scan you, uh, you try to remember or you want to highlight certain paragraph okay there's a highlight function inside in this okay i want to highlight this paragraph then i want to highlight the next one okay highlight and then you want to put sticky note okay uh, but in endnotes only yellow color they are the highlights okay but in Mendeley uh, they are more than yellow color okay okay question from Nur Ain uh, on how to separate the file of reference in note I'm writing the proposal engineer at the same times or oh, you don't want to combine okay I close this one, close the annotated and highlights and uh, the sticky note function. So normally, Anode will ask you, you want to save the changes you made? Just click yes. Okay. So, let's say I have 17, currently uh, 17 uh, reference inside my Anode, 17 references. So you want to divide. Okay, maybe these articles belong to your research proposal. The second ones belongs to your group study. Okay, this is where we use the function of groups. Okay, you can see on my left, there's a group function. Okay, so you can just right click. You can click. Okay, you can. Okay. Can everybody see? Add references, create custom group. Okay, as long as you know uh, any names are. Uh, it doesn't matter. So create custom group. So new group. So you can rename this group. Example, this is your research proposal. So you want to create another group. So just create group. Okay, there's another group will be uh, appear. So let's say this is your, okay, writing journals at the same time. Okay, so this is your maybe literature review. Okay. So, after you create this group, then you can drag. I just use the simple way. Okay, let's say this one. Okay, let's say this one. Good man. UK COVID-19. I want to uh, select these articles and drag to my literature review. Okay. I want to choose this one. Padilla. Fighting burnout in the COVID-19. You can just drag to my research proposal. Okay. Okay, thank you. Nur Ain. Okay. So, if you want to select more than one, you can just use the quick shortcut key that is control. You can just click control and then you choose. You want this article, I want this article, you just click. Click this article and then release control from your keyboard and then you just simply drag to your research proposal so it will be not mixed up so normally sometimes students ask me or lecturers uh, ask me should we create different project should we create different project means research proposal one and not library okay new library my group assignment one new library so my advice is depend sometimes there is student they like just use this group function but sometimes there's a it doesn't matter if you have more than five uh, in a library 
there is no limits. Okay? Okay, everybody okay? Can you follow me? Okay. 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 So, now we are going to the next function. Okay, let's say I have this physical printed books. Okay, let's say you have uh, newspaper articles or you have uh, any format materials. Nuliana, you want to annotate anything? Because I request uh, annotation. Kita tekan. Or simply. Uh, I got to tekan. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so uh, I continue. So let's say you have some uh, formats or materials that you use or document that you are currently use in your uh, research, in your assignments, in your projects. Okay, so you need to enter manually. Okay. So this is where you have to enter this information manually. So you just click add a new reference. So this is the area you need to uh, put manually. Okay, as I mentioned, remember, okay, the default will be journal article. The default will be journal article. So this one, is it journal article? This is printed book, physical book. So you just click the arrow down there and then you will see books. Okay, so this is the information that I mentioned earlier at my session. There is some students they are prefer using a note because of this. This is one of the features that Mendeley don't have. Mendeley, you can just put the new references for 20 only. There is just the basic one. But for a notes, you can, I think, more than 50. There is a figure, there is an interview, there is what? Map. There is a manuscript, there is unpublished uh, reports. Okay, sometimes health sciences, you need to refer to x-ray document, right? Uh, so, you can choose uh, the rest of this uh, figure. Okay? So, make sure we choose book. And then, you can simply put, okay, the, and then fill up all the rest of the information inside this one. Okay? But, bear in mind, if uh, the information, especially on the author part, Sometimes uh, there's uh, organizations, institution, or Malay names. You need to put comma. Okay, example, Hospital Putrajaya, Malaysia. Okay, maybe the reports is belongs to Hospital Putrajaya, Malaysia. You don't just simply click enter. Otherwise, okay, in your notes will be Malaysia comma Hospital. So it's cut. It's uh quite weird. So, make sure if there's an institution or organization uh, exactly name, just put enter. Okay? Example, like Malay names, directly we put okay, just put comma. Okay? So, the name will be appear exactly. Okay? So, you can just fill up all of the information and then make sure to click save. Okay, remember to click save. Okay, so, so this is just the sample. So I click no. Okay, next is okay. So this is change. <laughs> okay. Okay, next. Okay, we will go uh, use and not in your Microsoft Word. Okay, this is the tab that I mentioned. Okay, there is an note tab 20. So currently, my style will be APA7. And if you check, double check, if you check, double check, okay, in your references, okay, so on your right, you can double click anything, any references you want to check. So double click. So, you will see this area also APA7. So, everybody, do you have APA7 or still APA6? Put in the chat. Okay, Dr. Uh, Dr. Azlul Kalila, for economics and finance area, you have to go to uh, library databases. Okay, because currently it doesn't work with the rest of the online search only department because back in mind you itm we are authenticated i mean we already set all of the subscription of the databases is using easy access and dedicated ip address so it doesn't work 
cannot working using uh, the rest of this uh, online search. Only PubMed because PubMed offering uh, open access. But for the rest of, if you try, you are looking for articles, uh, business, so you have to go to Easy Access and then you can use ProQuest or Emerald or Science Direct. Uh, yeah, thank you, Cik Ismail. Cik Ismail already put. Okay, noted. Thank you, Puan okay. Yaya. Because I this... tried to, I, I tried to uh, select the uh, Eric App mm. Score because itu pun ada kan, tapi mm. they require remote password. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, so that's, that's not possible, yeah. Uh, that's okay. not possible. So only okay. Park Med, Park Med. I see. Untung lah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, terima kasih. Okay. Uh, okay. So everybody, APS seven ke? Okay, I have another question. It's difference to what reference we general put in our bibliography. Uh, comma tu dia just for untuk bagi tahu uh, end notes to not change the name appear in the references part. I guess we know lah because we know sometimes for institution, organization, uh, example bank negara Malaysia. So it's quite weird in the references it will be Malaysia comma bank negara. Uh, it's supposed to be Bank Negara Malaysia. So the comma we just to inform in notes. So the uh, the information of the author or the institution or the organization will be appear exactly. Okay, doesn't change. Otherwise, in notes will automatically example like uh, example like uh, Chris Rock. So that is the author names. Sometimes like this one. Uh, international name Chris Rock. So when you put the information in the enter uh, the, the manually inside the uh, inside your endnotes, so the name will be Chris Rock, Rock comma Chris. So the automatically the output in your references. Okay. Okay. So that is the function of comma. Okay, in the endnotes. Okay, Majalda, is there any question? Otherwise, I will meet everybody. So, you can unmute yourself. Okay, so next. Okay, next. Okay, I will show you before we proceed. Okay, make sure uh, everybody you have APS 7. So, let's say in your endnotes, you still have endnote 6. Okay, just follow this step. Okay, you go to help and then you click endnote output style. So, there will be a new page appear. And then you can just download all the output style and then you choose EndNote 7 and then double click. Okay, so you double click and then make sure you save the output style that you already uh, choose. So uh, EndNote 7 will be inside your uh, EndNote. The APS 7 will be inside your EndNote. Okay. Okay, so let's say. Okay, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mandana, I would like to ask. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the function of sync configuration? Okay, sync configuration ni, okay, normally it's like backup. Okay, uh, they will, uh, endnotes will backup because currently uh, for endnotes, there is a endnotes in the extension. Okay, let me show you this one. Endnote web, it will synchronize to your endnote web. Okay, so it's like a backup purpose. So for EndNote X20 Sync configuration, normally EndNotes will ask you before you close. If you do any editing, you know you do any changes. So before you close your project, uh, EndNotes will ask you. That's why when you at the first step, there is a registration appeal. So you have to put your email, you have to put your password. Then it will be sync to EndNote Web. Okay. Oh, so I need to register first, huh? Ah, yes, and register. Otherwise, you can choose this one. Go to edit, go to preferences, and then sync. So, you can sync, and then you can, this one, enable sync. Okay? So, you can put your email address and password. Otherwise, oh. you, yeah. You can, so, this one I already put. Uh, so, this way is, uh, it's, it's better, right? Yeah. So, it's the same same function. Mm, same function as Mendeley punya synchronization punya function. Thank you. Okay. Question. Yes, there is a recording version. Uh, Cik Ismail already put in the chat. You can join the WhatsApp group for this session and then we will share the recorded version of this session with you later. Okay. 
Okay, next. Let's go. Okay. Okay, let me show you. Okay. The pre previously, I show you uh, how to enter one folder. So, if you have one by one, so you just follow the same step. Okay, import and then choose file. Okay. So, my import, your my article is at desktop. See, I have a few articles. So, I want to import this one. And then, uh, you start now, close to it. Yeah? And then, you just open. So, remember, the import option, you change to PDF. Change to PDF format and then import. Okay, let's next move to let's move to online database. Okay, I just you I just show you the simple one using online database. Okay. Okay. So this is library. Easy access. So this is the portal where you can access the subscription of online databases, e-journals, uh, e-books by UITM Library. So for students and lecturers, make sure you put your username. Uh, that is your staff ID or student ID and password will be your IC number. And for international student, uh, use your passport number. So make sure to tick, I accept the terms and condition. Then you log in. Yeah. Okay. Hai, kenapa tak masuk? Cik Smail. Limit ke? Takkan, there's no limit. Ah, okay. So, let's say, uh, like uh, doctor asked previously, uh, you can choose either alphabetical. Alphabetical is the database's name or the e-books or e-journal's name or you can choose by format. Either you want just display online database or you can choose by subject. Let's say you are from business, just click business. So, they will be the databases, the ebooks, e journals that related with uh, business. Okay. So, for all databases that UITM subscribe, normally they already input the function how to export the uh, metadata of the information or the articles directly to your reference management software. Either it was Mendeley or EndNotes. So, let's say I have, I choose ScienceDirect. Okay. Let's say ScienceDirect. Okay, enter certain keyword, then I go to search. Okay, so let's say this is from Science Direct uh, databases. So let's say I want to extract or, or I just want to uh, take this article, this article, okay, this article 3, article 2 and notes. I can just simply click export. So normally, some certain databases, they will appear save or import to EndNotes. Okay, uh, save to EndNotes. But some of the databases, like Science Direct, you have to choose export citation to RIS. Okay, so once you choose export citation to RIS, can you see? There's a Tetris, Tetris file appear in my computer on my left. Okay. Can everybody see? So, you just click the Tetris file. So, once I click, see? And notes directly will extract this article. But bear in mind, this step, what is the differences? Okay, the differences is only the metadata of the information. But there is no paper clip. There is no PDF article. So, you have to do the next step. You have to find attached file. You have to download the article. Let's say this one, regulatory impact. Okay, where is the article? Okay, let's say. So, I have to download this PDF first to my computer. Okay, so successful. And then, I need to do what? So, I need to uh, attach file. So, attach file. Remember, my file will be goes automatically to my libraries, to my download, eh? It's my download, eh? 
and recent item this PC. Okay, let's say I move this article to my desktop. Okay, let's say, yeah. So, this is the article I sent to desktop. Okay, this is the article I sent to desktop. Four, eight, five. Okay, so I go to desktop. Remember, the article will be four, eight, five. This one, regular three. This article and quit, eh? Okay, so let's say this one. Uh, this is the exact article and then you need to open. Okay, so when you go to all references, okay, then the article will be inside. Okay, the paper clip will appear inside your index. Okay, so you can open, you can read, annotated, highlights and many more. Okay. Okay, so see, notes. Will appear this notification. Do you want to save the changes you made to the references? Remember, you attach the PDF and then you just click yes. Okay, so you can be checked. The regulatory the articles. Oh, see, this one. Regulatory impact of this one. So, there's a paper clip appear in your endnotes. Okay, so everybody, okay, can follow. So same, uh, yep. Is there any question? Okay, Tengku no Ain. When writing bibliography, is number of pages for your important for each end. Sample, it is some of the journal doesn't provide the information. So you just, for journals, uh, the important information that you need to appeal, uh, you need to enter is volume. Uh, volume, issue, page number. So, if you don't have, you just leave it blank. Just leave it blank. So, that's why we uh, advise you to use uh, subscribe databases. Because subscribe databases, as I mentioned, the metadata is already complete. Compact if you use, okay, let me show you. Compact you use Google Scholar. Because sometimes for Google Scholar, okay, there is no metadata complete. Okay, sometimes you do searching, okay. Okay, let's say you try to look certain uh, materials from Google Scholar. Okay, sometimes the metadata is not complete. Okay, that is the main reason we advise you to use uh, online databases, use this one, e-journals, the our authenticated publication that we subscribe. Okay, because sometimes the, uh, when you get the information from websites, the credibility of the journal sometimes, uh, yeah, if, that is the established journals. How come it doesn't have volume? How come it doesn't have issue? Because normally journals, it will be uh, the reputation, the sustainability, the stability. Uh, normally, they have gen uh, journal name. Normally, uh, the frequency, the frequency of the journal, how many times the uh, journal publish. Uh, annually ke, frequency ke, volume, there must be volume, there must be issue number, there must be page number. Okay. 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 So for Google Scholar, okay, to avoid sometimes, okay, let's see. Uh, inside my Google Scholar, there is import into a note. Okay, if your Google Scholar don't have this information, how many of you don't have this information appear? Okay. Actually, you can setting. Okay. Just go to setting. Just go to setting. And then at the bibliography manager section, you can tick show links to import citation and then you choose end notes. Okay, so you choose end note. And then you make sure to click save. Then after that, when you uh, try to look uh, from Google Scholar, you can directly uh, use this function. Okay, let's say you want to, this one, concept of business and financial risk. And then you click import into end notes. See, but this one, this time there is no Tetris icon. There will be endnotes, endnotes. Then you just click this icon. So, this one. okay. But bear in mind, there is a, a situation. Some of the metadata is not complete. 
then you have to complete the information manually. Okay, so you have double click this information, you have to edit, okay, you have to uh, uh, complete all the details. Okay, that is one. Okay. One, hmm? uh, just now uh, you teach us uh, two ways of attaching file uh, using uh, group and uh, from the downloaded version, kan? Mm -hmm. downloaded, uh, downloaded using uh, online online mm -hmm. services. So, mm -hmm. what's the difference actually? Uh, uh, I mean, if we use the downloaded version from uh, online databases, mm -hmm. it just do uh, indexing. Eh? So, we can uh, put anywhere ke? Macam tu ke? Beza dia dengan uh, using my, uh, my group tu. My group tu macam kita create folder kan? So, mm -hmm. Uh, all, all the PDF tu kita put in there. So macam if we don't use this uh, and note also we can go to the folder directly lah, right? Mm, boleh? Boleh? Uh, this one is just for organize, organize function. Uh. Sometimes uh, there's a student uh, macam tadi tengku tu, dia ada one uh, assignment project for uh, dia punya research proposal. Another one is for dia punya writing thesis. So dia cuma dia uh, Nak guna satu projek ni, and not projek sahaja but dia, uh, but she can manage uh, a lot of uh, uh, orang kata writings. Uh, so we can use this function, the groups. Okay. So, uh, but bear in mind if you directly import, directly import from uh, Science Direct as I mentioned earlier, this one, uh, it not only import the metadata of the information. So you have to, you, you have to do the second step that is to attach the PDF file. So my advice, better you download this PDF and then you use this step. Go to file and then import file or import folder. Okay. So that is much more quick, uh, quickest compared to uh, go to online databases, uh, import this one. This is just in export the metadata of the information, but not the PDF articles. Okay, so everybody okay, okay. Can we continue to the writing function? Writing parts, okay. So this is my Microsoft Word. So make sure to change your style to APA7. Okay, so let's say I have certain paragraph I want to insert. Okay. Okay, so let's say you want to put or insert or cite any uh, from your EndNotes library. Okay, so you can simply go to EndNotes. That is one step. Otherwise, we can choose this one. Okay, there is an arrow at insert citation. So you can click insert citation. Okay, what happened? Okay, what happened? Okay, this is actually, okay, when I enter COVID, this is actually the results from your EndNotes library. Okay, let's say I have virus and then I click find. So, the result will be this one. Okay, so EndNotes will extract from your EndNotes library. So, let's say you want to cite this one. Okay, actually I want to cite this one from Rose 2006. Okay. You can simply click insert. Okay. Okay, I show you. Let's do it together. I click insert. Okay, wait, eh? wait, 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 wait. Open yeah. So make sure in your computer there is no two uh references. Okay, make sure you if you use uh see. I have Mendeley because previous session we have Mendeley classes. So I need to remove my Mendeley and okay. Okay. So there is no Mendeley up here. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. So there is one function. First we go to EndNotes and then you can select a second one. Okay, this is the quick the quick function. You just click insert citation. 
And then, of course, you know what is the keyword, what is the subject, what is your areas, okay? You can just simply, okay, you can also just 2015. Is there a 2015 article? See, 2015 articles on the results, okay? 2021. See, fine. Because, you see, search, the searching on and the results will be from your Endnotes libraries, okay? So, let's say you want to cite this one, the good man, and then you click insert. Okay, okay, that is the first way. The second step will be, okay, let's say you have this statement. According to, so according to, the rules will be only the year will be in bracket. So that is the rule of writings. So you should click again, insert citation. Okay, insert citation. Okay, so let's say I choose, okay, this one. Padilla. Okay. So, remember, there's an arrow drop down at the insert area. So, you can choose insert a eh, insert and display as author. And you remember, year is inside the bracket. Okay. So, I click this one. What happened? Okay. So, endnotes will automatically change. Okay, depends on what uh, you want to use. Okay, remember. Okay, remember, as I mentioned, again, we click insert citation. Okay, let's say I want to cite this one, Cartosi, a compartment modeling approach, but I don't want to put in text, I mean, inside my writing, because I just get an idea from these articles. Okay, so I can just choose insert in bibliography only. So remember, and not have this function. Okay, so when I click insert in bibliography, what happened? Okay, there is no name appear in the writing section, but in your bibliography, it will appear. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, let's say you already open your endnotes. Okay, and then you scroll down, scroll down, and then you want to cite this person, summer COVID-19 as a traumatic stressor. Okay, or you want to cite this one, Maliki, or, or if you have, you want to cite more than one, one, remember, you can use a uh, shortcut keyboard, uh, you just click control at your keyboard, and then you select more than one uh, References, example Maleki, examples uh, Kupta, okay, and then I want to cite another one, Styleman, okay, release control from your keyboard, and then you go to Microsoft Word again, okay, go to your Microsoft Word, and then remember, insert selected citation, see. Gupta, Maliki, Stalman will put uh, merging in one uh, sentence in your writing. So, you can check at your references. There is, there will be appear. Salam, Puan Di. Ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, sorry nak tanya. Hmm. Um, hari tu ada lecturer daripada, saya dari Sarawak. Um, ya, macam mana nak uh, buat referencing ni? Hmm? Uh, dalam numbering Puan Di Puan Di faham tak maksud saya? Uh, numbering uh. tu Numbering tu belongs to different style or style Okay uh, Either it was uh, IEEE Either it was PMJ uh, So dia kena make sure uh, What is dia punya style Okay tapi doesn't matter We can just play around Okay Okay Let's see kita play around Okay so, in order to change your style, let's say the lecturer want to send to certain publication, certain conference, and then they are not using APA, they are using different style. Okay, we can just click to any any part of the references, like this one, and then you can just change to numbered. Numbered, numbered lah. Okay, see? It will change automatically. Okay, you can use one sample of your writing, your journal article ke, and then you can send to many conference ke, using the same one. Just change the punya writing style only. Okay? Okay. 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 Ok
Okey Nasya. Hmm, Okey. So maksudnya uh, kalau kita tukar style tu uh, maksudnya dia takkan um, dia takkan jadi alphabetical order lagi kan? Dia ikut uh, kita punya reference uh, order dalam endnote tu kan? Betul tak? Correct. Betul. 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 Correct. Correct. Okey. Alright. Thank you Pandi. So uh, it's made uh, your life easier lah. Uh, maybe student punya research proposal tu you want to submit to certain conference but the conference, the format style or writing style is different Vancouver. Sometimes dekat sini, uh, dia dah panic. Uh, there's a student panic because there is no stated uh, style appear inside. So you just click select another style. So click select another style. Okay, so endnotes will open. Okay, you can drag this one. And then you can try to look up. I triple E. What is it? I triple E. Yeah, we try to find ah, BMJ for medic. BMC medicine. Ah, ni, see? BMJ. BMJ uh, pharmacy student. Medic, they are using BMJ. Okay. I triple E. E, F, G, H. Ah, see? I triple E. Okay. So for engineering, so just click OK. One, two, three. See? One, two, three. So, the best part is you just uh, do the cosmetic part. When I mention the cosmetic part, okay, so this is where we put the header. Okay, you can go do the cosmetic lah. Okay, do the cosmetic part. And then you can see there's the alignment, the paragraph, the rapat kan. They join together. So, the alignment, you can highlight this one. You can justify before you submit to your supervisor. Okay, and then the paragraph, okay, you choose add space after paragraph so nampak so it much better compared to the previous one okay so this is the cosmetic part that you have to you uh, you have to to do okay the simple uh, one on day do, yeah. do we mix up uh, the list of references and bi uh, bibliography normally uh, uh, memang dia dia akan mix dia akan mix dia uh, dia akan mix because normally in your writing some of the information only you cite in your writing. Uh, mm -hmm. But, katalah let's say you have five books, but that books you only, okay, uh, I just want to generate certain ideas and then I want to put inside my writing. So, you have to put five too, but it will appear as bibliography. Yeah, yeah at, mm -hmm. uh, inside your references together. But normally, your supervisor will understood. Okay, sometimes, uh, they appear dekat bibliography or references part only. But the writing tak ada because it's just for the idea in your writing. Oh, I, I thought we should separate the two eh, things. Tak, tak, tak. In, even in for UITM postgraduate writing, they memang mm -hmm. combine together. They memang yeah. combine together. Tu zaman dulu-dulu lah. Dulu -dulu, five years back tu memang kita, and notes different, uh, references different, bibliography okay. different. <laughs> Uh, you just edit uh, dekat part, uh, this part only lah. You can even, you can edit library reference. Eh, wait eh. You can even edit, edit and manage citation. Even dekat this one pun, there's a function of, you can, uh, this one. You can display as author, year in bracket. You can only show on the infography. Depends on your uh, writings. Even if you want to add page number. Okay, example yeah, I change back to uh, like ABA. Okay, the date with A, P, A7. Okay, sometimes you want to put uh, books. For books, maybe you want to put enter certain information like pages. You just click edit and manage citations. And then at pages, you just put. Maybe you refer to certain or you just uh, uh, extract certain uh, statement from certain pages. Let's say uh, 55 until 56. Okay. And then you just click OK. Okay, see? The page number will enter directly. Last time I use macam uh, older version kan, dia macam setiap kali kita add new references, kita kena buat apa tu? Uh, update. Update. Yang update Version reference. berapa? Version berapa tu? X1 ke? Tak ingat lah lama. Oh, lah. Lama. <laughs> That's why I advise everybody to update. Even uh, I, I receive a lot of comments from the lecturers because the function is still there. The function is still the same but dia punya interface and the layout tu dah lebih Very simple. Ah, uh, yeah. the simple. Dia simplified compared to Anode X now. There's a lot of tap 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 button inside here. There's a lot <laughs> of ah. Uh. So, this is more simplified and simple. 
Okay, dia macam ambil sikit Mendeley punya function tu Yang interface yang clean punya interface So, dia updates to the end of X uh, uh, 20 So, that's what I advise if you are currently using EndNote 6 You are currently using EndNote 3 Please update to EndNote 20 Because you I think I'm already spend money to this license software Okay Wandi, I have one more question mm -hmm. uh, If we want to send to uh, publisher kan mm -hmm. uh, so sometimes macam uh, last time lah uh, macam uh, kita, uh, macam uh, bila kita ada this form, format endnote so hmm. dia macam dia kan tak. ganggu ha. so macam kita kena convert kepada plain ke macam mana after kita dah finalize everything hmm. dah in order so kita nak send to the publisher lah hmm. send to the okay. channel so do we need to macam biar di dalam bentuk uh, ada function and notes ni atau kita kena convert kepada plain text ke macam mana? Okay, dia ada function dekat sini. Okay, convert to plain text. Boleh? Should we do that? Should we do that? Uh, sometimes... Sebab uh, takut. Bila diorang receive macam diorang tak align dengan kita punya ni kan. Nanti takut ter ter edit ke apa ke. Uh, tak ada masalah pun. Kita either convert to plain text and then ada juga uh, situation there is uh, bila student uh, kita dapat file daripada student ada tak keluar macam ada ikon-ikon pelik tu? Aha. Ada uh. ikon yang pelik-pelik tu. Ha. Okay. This is the tip. Sebenarnya that Tanya is... Tanya soal lah apa uh, kan? Uh, uh, like that. Even, uh. even Ipsis punya uh, even Ipsis punya template akan keluar dia punya function tu. Okay. Sebenarnya you don't have to worry. That one is dia punya setting dekat Microsoft Word. Okay, I show you. You go to your file. Okay, this one. Go to file. Okay, go to option. Okay. Okay, boleh, boleh everybody. Go to option. And then you click. Wait there. Click advance. Okay. Add your word option. You click advance. And then scroll. Bawah sikit-sikit. Scroll a little bit. Scroll, 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 scroll. Make sure you untick this one. Don't tick. Show fill codes instead of their values. Untick. 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 And then click OK. Some of the Microsoft Word, the by default, the tick. Okay. Uh, so make sure you untick. So, dia takkan appear lah. Takkan appear. Uh, yang pelik-pelik macam sound script punya tulisan ke apa ke. Thank you, Puan. Uh, so, sebenarnya Microsoft Word punya, Microsoft Word punya tu, punya fill code. <laughs> Even shading. Okay. Orang lain punya shading macam mana? Is it same like me? Or different? When I click, certain-certain. Is it same ke different? Same. Same. Okay. Sebenarnya ada orang panik juga. Eh, why my shaded ni different? Why semua all black ke apa? Sebenarnya it's the same. You just go to option and then you click uh, advance and then dia dekat part, dia dekat CD. Dia dekat this one. Uh, wait then, wait then. Scroll, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Got this one. Fill shading, you can change to when selected only. If you click always, always shaded. If you, when selected, only when you put your cursor mouse at the designated area, then it will be in grey lah. Okay? Itu saja. That's all the punya tips. Assalamualaikum Puan Diana. Okay, salam. Uh, boleh tak saya nak tahu uh, the proper way untuk citatekan sen uh, sentences sebab akan uh, ada yang citation yang kita perlu letak dekat macam according to yang bahagian depan. Ada tu okay. yang dekat tengah, ada tu yang dekat uh, hujung sentences. Jadi saya nak tahu the proper way untuk kita citatekan. Eh, itu kena refer. Saya pun tak ingat semua. <laughs> Cannot remember everything. So normally you can uh, uh, dia ada dalam even in library pun kita ada buku yang uh, writing punya formatting tu. Uh, so you can refer that or you can just google APA 7 punya guide. Uh, APA 7 punya guide pun ada. Dia letak dekat situ. Oh. Okay. Otherwise you can go to in this one. Um, boleh jugalah help juga student. Try eh. There is one website. Okay. Pernah dengar tak Academic First Bank? Anybody? Have used uh, Academic First Bank? Tak. Academic First uh, Bank actually, uh, this is a, uh, it's a guideline in terms of we want to do a writing or language. 
Okay, so this one, uh, it also helpful for students or even researchers. So you can just click any of the language function. So this one, but giving explanation. So they ada bagi sample. Sample juga, ah, see? Like this one. Uh, there is some evidence to suggest uh, if uh, this is about, remember, according, there must be year in the bracket. Uh, so this is the example. Okay. Actually, uh, we have... Uh, Actually, of record lah. Actually, we have the full. Uh, this one actually University of Manchester. Dia, uh, you have to purchase, but for library for academic purposes, we have the full PDF. Uh, so you can request request from our librarian. Ah, uh, lagi satu, Puan Diana. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. untuk yang bahagian references tu, mm -hmm. kita patut uh, patutnya uh, patut letak di punya author's name tu. Kalau contohlah macam kita punya artikel tu macam banyak sangat, kita punya author's name. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, sepatutnya letak dalam tiga ke lima macam tu ke ke berapa? Ada ada specific number tak kita perlu include kan? Dan sebelum sebelum kita letak etc semua tu, yang bahagian A reference tu. APA seven yang baru punya diletak semua. Letak semua. Ya, yeah, yang baru punya. Okay. Kalau yang lama punya APA 6, uh, katalah let's say dia ada 7 author, dia cuma letak yeah. appear 3 atau 5 nama je. Uh, so, marah lah yang lain-lain tu. So, yang APA 7 latest ni, memang kita tahu dia letak semua sekali. Okay. Oh, sebab sebab kita boleh edit kan yang bahagian yang untuk kita, uh, maksudnya nak letakkan in, apa, nak include kan berapa ada tu dalam 3 ke 5 and dia baru uh, kita include kan ETC uh, semua tu. Uh, so, okay, baik. better semua lah. Semua. Kan, better semua. Haa. Uh. So, APA 7 tu pun guideline dia boleh request from librarian. Kita ada yang latest punya APA 7. Uh, so, boleh refer juga dekat situ. Dia ada certain changes uh, compared to the previous one punya version. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Puan Diana. Okay, welcome. So, ada soalan lagi? Ada, is there any questions? I think that's the overall of the function of EndNotes. Uh, that is the main important punya features lah yang you have to uh, familiar with. Okay, so apa lagi, apa lagi ya? Eh? eh, nak tengok apa lagi ni. Okay, group sudah. Okay, so sebenarnya uh, another function, okay, sebenarnya ada kotak box, there's a uh, searching box inside ni. Okay, sebenarnya some, uh, uh, Enox able you to retrieve. Sometimes you want to recall certain keyword ke, certain article that you already uh, input, uh, you already uh, import inside your Enox. So, you can just put this one. Uh, just enter lah. Like say, ni katalah, photo. then I click search. So, there is dia akan retrieve uh, dia to the dedicated punya articles. Okay, sometimes kena recall lah balik. So, this is the function, this one lah. Okay, and then apa lagi ya? Eh? This one sudah. Okay, so this is uh, another tips for postgraduate student. Sometimes during your viva, there's panel tu dia saja je. They just want to test uh, your knowledge. Sometimes they inform, okay, Based on your uh, example, 22 references that you use inside your endnotes, okay, can you uh, limit to only 10 that is the most important or most impactful that you use in your uh, research proposal? Uh, sometimes there is a question because this is based on uh, testimony, based on personal experience. So the panel to tanya uh, that sort of questions. Can you give me only five uh, articles inside your endnotes? So, uh, the tips is normally if you feel that uh, the articles is very uh, useful, you uh, regularly uh, refer to this or that particular articles, you can just right click, okay, and then you can see ratings, okay, you can see ratings form, okay, so you can rating, so let's say, okay, I always refer to this article, so you can just rating as five star. Okay, so you can refer to this article. So, consider this one as three star. Okay, then after that, you can sort. You can sort on your, wait a You can sort, wait a Okay, let's change to. Rating five star. Yeah. 
So later kita boleh set, uh, sorting balik lah. Uh, last time kalau N notes X9, there's a function untuk filter based on rating tu. Tapi yang baru ni saya tengah mencari mana dia punya sorting ni. Okay, wait, wait eh. Last time dia ada function untuk sorting. Wait eh, kena mencari. Tak ada pula dalam ni. Kalau yang previously, egg node uh, 9 dia ada function untuk sorting. Okay. Uh, Puan Diana. Okay. okay. Uh, lagi satu saya nak tanya. Kalau bahagian uh, yang edit tu, okay. adakah file edit reference tu, bila, te bila kita tekan edit bahagian atas sekali tu, okay. Uh, bagian edit sekali tu, anda kita edit kita punya output style hmm. kan dia, uh, kita akan boleh pilih dia punya dia akan keluar bahagian bibliography templates di mana mana uh, ini bahagian um, uh, edit ini bahagian atas edit okey uh, bahagian atas sekali tu lepas tu bila kita choose macam, macam edit kita punya output style hmm. Output style, dia akan keluar bahag, uh, dia akan keluar banyaklah macam citation bibliography put note semua tu hmm. okey okay. yang empat ni Ah, uh, uh, betul. Okay. Uh, lepas tu, uh, tapi ada, eh, tapi bukan yang ini. Yang ini yang kita kena isi kan. Okay. Sebab saya pakai yang, uh, sekarang saya tengah, mas saya pakai yang X9, Anno X9. Oh, so, dia ada feature tu lain sikit kan? Uh, dia lain sikit lah. Hmm. Dia lain sikit. Tapi, uh, bila je uh, saya buka yang X9 punya Anno ni, hmm. bila dia saya tekan edit output style tu, hmm. bahagian reference type tu, dia ada lah yang macam, Uh, semua jenis yang reference kita pakai tu macam book, conference paper, okay. conference procedure semua tu. Okay. Tapi yang untuk book tu kenapa tak ada page yang dia include kan memang untuk reference tu tak tak perlu include kan page ke macam mana? Saya tukar book eh. Saya tengok dekat uh -huh. saya punya part ni page. Ada dekat sini? Dekat Anode X9 tak ada? Dekat uh, bukan yang ini yang kita kena uh, yang ini yang kita kena isi kan? Mm -hmm. Oh dekat yang ni? Dekat uh, ya. pun punya tak ada eh? Yang ada macam, uh, yang ni yang kita kena isi ada yang bagi, lagi satu. Kalau pun dia nak tekan yang bagian yang atas sekali screen tu yang edit tu. Okay, dah tekan lah. Ah, dah tekan. Yang ni lah, yang ni dah dia keluar. Oh, yang tu yang keluar. Tapi ada yang kalau saya punya X9 ni dia keluar yang macam semua jenis uh, macam books. Dia punya list, listing tu. Bukan yang macam ni eh? Ah, yang bukan macam keluar. tu. Ah, okay. Yang tu yang kita kena yang isi sendiri yang dah tambah kalau kita nak. Reference kot Puan D. Dekat mana? Dekat sini? Bukan yeah, reference, reference yang dekat summary tu. Dekat summary ni. Uh -huh. Okay summary ni memang dia simplify je. Disimplify bukan. Ah. Bukan ni? Bukan. Bukan cik Mael bukan. So ada hand out tu kan? So X9 kita dah, dah, dah migrate ke N, uh, latest one so kita macam kan ini kan bukan juga uh, bukan uh, so dia macam tak sama tu yang kita macam kat mana kat mana tu uh, <laughs> tapi uh, inside your writing so normally mm -hmm. you can add add letter dekat yang edit and manage citation mm -hmm. ni uh, kita kan boleh edit letter uh, so katalah some, sometimes certain information tu uh, okey lah tak ada page number so you can just uh -huh. simply enter page number Oh, okay. Hmm, ataupun you can just click sini. Edit reference pun boleh. Edit so, reference. Ha, nampak? Si? Nampak? Saya klik edit, ah. dia keluar. Ah, betul. Sama, ha, mana? Kat sana mana? Kat sini ke? Ha, 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 okay. Yang... Okay. Dekat, ha, betul. Mana-mana? Yang book tu? Hmm. Edit. Ha, kat sini? Kan? Ha, output style. Output. Cuba tekan yang, output, yang edit. Output style. Edit. Okay. Edit. Edit. Output, output style. style. Okay. Ha, edit apa? Seven. Okay, edit the paper 7. Okay, and then bibliography template. Ah, nampak tak? Dia ada keluar semua ni. Listing ni. Okay. Okay, listing ni. Lepas tu kalau tengok dek oh, dekat book, dia tak ada page number. Ah, tak apalah, ed edit letter dekat dalam oh. writing tu je lah. Lagi senang. Oh, maks oh, maksudnya bukan kita kena follow yang dah ada dalam endnote ni. Uh, sebab sampai saya ini dia punya coding-coding only tapi later uh -huh. kita still boleh add the page number tu inside kita punya Microsoft hmm. Word. Oh kat sini. Okay. Uh, okay. Saya ingat, tak saya ingatkan kita kena follow yang endnote dah dah decide dah untuk tu, penulisan tu macam book tak payah, tak payah letak page macam tu. Uh, dia sometimes kadang-kadang uh, kita refer to books tu 
70% tu kita refer to that lah Especially masa nak buat data analysis kan Kita refer to certain, yeah. certain books apa semua So sometimes uh, page number tu If we don't include inside writing pun it doesn't matter Because dia bukan macam mandatory Mandatory yeah. Cuma certain books yang Sometimes you just refer to selected pages 57 only Until uh, 60 pages Then you can edit later dekat dalam writing Across the word Okay, terima kasih Puan Tuna Puan D, yeah. mungkin yang yang pertanyaan tengku tu dekat uh, mungkin kalau nak buat dekat book section book section dia ada book section uh, ada page, page kan ah uh, dia ada uh, page so dekat sini kita boleh edit dan nanti kan dekat references type book uh, section ah uh, uh, book section ah uh, so boleh lah book section sebab dia belongs to certain pages yes oh, correct okay, correctly okay. 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 book yeah. section tu sama dengan chapter in book ke sebab saya cari chapter in book macam tak ada je saya selalu pilih book section. Ah pilih book section lah tak ada mas. Ah ada chapter in book. Ah <laughs> pilih book section. Ah sometimes dia punya name je dia punya branding dia tu tapi kalau ada book section just put inside book section. Chapter in book tu publication type tu apa ni doktor Mana dia uh, dia sama ada kalau ha. buku the whole the whole one tapi kalau the, uh, certain page dekat book section. Ah ya yeah. dia dia dia, dia macam Uh, chapter in book ni dia macam, dia bukan jurnal dia It's a book, it's a compilation of Yes, 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 the publication the type of the, uh, the, the, the ni Chapter public, in book uh, Publication yes. type, betul betul Cik Semali, kita pun yeah. penting tak? Publication, publication type Publication type mm-hmm. ah, Yelah, jurnal ke nak pilih tadi kan? Publication type tu books ke, jurnal ke, link chapter ke in book, uh, Chapter in book is a book lah It's a book, book chap, uh, it's a book lah kan? Yeah, it's a book but uh, if it's you book refer It's a book section ke book? Book, book section uh, uh, book. If you if you refer to uh, a certain page, you need to put uh, in book section. Uh, book section. Uh, uh, book section, section lah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Should be book section lah, saya rasa. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, attendant. Okay, kot. Okay, uh, attendant nanti Cik Ismail bagi ya. So, is there any, any question? Uh, did, uh, this part dia dah lebih more to troubleshoot lah. Troubleshoot maybe you are having uh, difficulties in using and notes ke. So uh, I already did uh, explain all the important features inside and notes. Okay. Uh, so, Puan Nurul. Yeah. Saya nak tanya tadi yang online search tu boleh tak kalau saya search directly from this and notes? Tadi dia tunjuk untuk part map. Part map je. Ha, part map sahaja. Ya yeah, yang lain silalah guna yang kami punya easy access tadi. So lagi satu tadi you group, yang kalau kita move daripada all reference, we move to the group kan yang you create group tu. Mm-hmm. Ada create group tu kan. So uh, adakah daripada all reference tu akan hilang ke? Dia akan just move to the group. Oh, all references ni semua. Currently kalau ada 80 all references, 80 articles, 80 maintain. Groups ni the more to sort of macam nak grouping kan. Uh, daripada 80 articles or references inside your notes. Okay, maybe three belongs to your research proposal. Ten uh, belongs to your group study assignment. Okay, uh, the rest is for your uh, thesis dissertation. Uh, so, they're more to, uh, like satu kalau all references ni, kalau let's say 22, okay. So, see yeah, my my current assignment, about my current project 120. About, so, kalau kita nak scroll, like mana ya, which one belongs to my research proposal, uh, confused lah. So better, this one I already nampak. So it can be belongs to your subject, your topics, belongs to nampak let's say this is belongs to my uh, certain certain keyword, this is belong to my testing ke, uh, depends. So currently, Tapi I all had... reference tu masih ada semua kan? Cuma yes, semua ada. Kan? Semua, everything, everything. Yang ada paper clip PDF ke, regardless only the metadata of the references only will be inside your all references. Okay, so Cik Ismail already given the registration and then for UITM students or UITM staff, you can generate the e-certificates for this session. So just follow the step by step. Okay, thank you for coming. Thank you Cik Ismail. Thank you the rest. Yeah, yeah. Diana, I have a question. Okay. Uh, uh, regarding to the, saya, saya lupa tadi, I forgot about the name, siapa yang tanya tadi pasal author's name tu. Okay. Uh, sometimes, bila kita sambil dekat conference ke proceeding mana-mana, dia ada dia punya format dia tu untuk nama contoh dalam satu paper tu yang kita cite, mm-hmm. dia ada ramai kan dia punya author's kan. Mm-hmm. So, bila bila macam conference tadi, uh, Puan Di kata uh, dalam 
dalam apa uh, dalam endnote yang terbaru di letter ni kalau ada lima author dia letak lima lima author dekat dalam kita punya in-text citation kan so bila saya tengok ada ada uh, uh, conference ni dia punya format untuk citation tu dia, dia dah letakkan kalau lebih kalau kalau contoh lah kan kalau hmm. lebih pada lima orang kena letak seorang je maksudnya contoh dia nama Ahmad et al contoh so dekat um, dekat endnote ni macam mana kita nak edit benda tu boleh je letak sini okay. Ahmad pipe manual lah Oh, macam tu. ni, oh, okay. type manual je. Okay, so the letters tak. untuk format macam sekarang ni, I'm doing my PhD. Mm -hmm. The letters untuk thesis format tu, uh, dia nak nama semua author ke untuk in-text citation tu ataupun dia nak ke orang je yang macam Ahmad et al macam tu. APA7 so, semua? Semua eh. Hmm. Hmm. Hari tu saya ada session dengan Dr. Rizwan. Dr. Rizwan tu dia buat thesis formatting. Oh, ah, okay. Lepas bila kita orang tanya lah balik pasal names ni semua Lepas tu dia kata APS7 tu memang dia akan appear semua Sebab tu kalau tengok dekat sini Nampak ni nama orang ni ni Deret-deret-deret nama dia ni ha, Ni pun semua nampak ni Semua ada Semua sekali ha, So ni APS7 ni memang dia appear semua Okay yang ni ni dekat reference Kalau dekat intact citation Intact citation kejap eh Tengok nama Padila ni Kita boleh check mana Ah ha, Padila ni dia dah set dah Ah, dia letak nama assignment ni je. Yang lain tu the rest will be at all. Tapi dekat references okay. dia akan appear semua. Dulu dekat references kan dia jadi at all juga. Ha, ha. Ah, so marah orang semua the rest yang contribute okay. to this paper. So dekat references kan dia appear semua. So dekat in text ni dia dah set kan dah. Only hmm. first author je. Okay. 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 Thank you, Okay, thank you very much for coming for this session. So we hope you can uh, attend uh, a lot thank of sessions coming uh, in the future. So just click uh, library punya website bagian uh, announcement and events and then we will also promote a lot of uh, free sessions uh, with uh, relates with our module uh, information skills classes uh, to students, lecturers and UITM uh, participants uh, even if you are from uh, UPM or other uni university also you are welcome to join but for certificates only for UITM uh, participants. So thank you very much. Uh, so if you are having difficulties or you want to contact us uh, using chat with librarian you can just uh, contact us. But for uh, we are also Puncha Alam have a uh, WhatsApp web business if you are having difficulties you want contact directly you can just uh, put this number 603 uh, 3258 five, eight, five, zero, eight, four, zero, zero, six. This is our WhatsApp web business for Puncha Alam. Okay. So my email address will be diana875 at uitm.edu.my or if you, are, you want to use our uh, WhatsApp business also uh, you can contact us using this. Okay. Diana, boleh tanya lagi tak? Boleh? Tak macam ni. Kalau uh, student hantar dekat kita, hmm. uh, katalah assignment ke ataupun uh, proposal ke, okay. tetapi dia tak gunakan EndNote sebelum ni as a reference system dia tu, okay. dia buat secara manual. Boleh tak okay. kita nak convertkan dia kepada EndNote style yang kita senang nak edit dan kita nak um, jadikan satu benda yang lagi senang untuk kita? Dia buat manual. Ha, memang tak boleh lah. Dia kena buat masukkan balik. Follow step by step. So normally for student uh, that are using EndNotes, when they want to submit to their supervisor lecturers, they have to copy these two, uh, these two uh, uh, icon. The first one is the folder yang yellow tu. And then dia kena bawa brings together yang EndNotes punya icon, my projects. So you have to copy both. Both of these uh, files. And then send to your supervisor or lecturers. Otherwise, nanti memang that, nanti lecturer tak boleh buka lah that, that, that file. Okay. For situation yang dia buat manual and then dia nak masukkan notes, there is no other way unless you have to do it one by one again. Tarik, extract all the PDF article and then you have to enter using this one. Currently, kita tak jumpa lagi uh, solution. Kalau dia buat manual, lepas tu nak guna pula EndNotes macam mana. Uh, so, dia kena guna balik lah. Start from scratch. Then create new and then you have to import dia punya PDF articles and then you have to cite proper one by one or more than one. Oh, okay. So, that's so why masa dia, dia balik semua reference yeah. dia balik. So, that's why from the first place masa dia buat research proposal tu kita dah advise. Even dia baru semester 2 ke semester 1 ke we already give uh, dia punya awareness what is uh, this software about. 
even dia punya is a proposal tu semester 6 semester 7 baru dia buat hmm. kalau kalau ikutkan pengalaman lah kebanyakan uh, student uh, lebih suka guna Mendeley ataupun Ennox kalau untuk uh, health sciences sciences ni sebab dia ada certain-certain features dia yang berbeza. Mendeley ni dia ada dia punya interface berbeza tapi kalau dia just diploma student ke apa dia boleh. Tak ada masalah dia boleh guna Mendeley. Ah uh, pada saya lah sebab saya zaman diploma ni guna Mendeley basic ni je. Tapi bila dah sampai part buat research proposal dah betul lah. Lagi satu uh, ada part editing tu kena buat manual. Macam saya mention tadi certain sometimes you want just appear in your bibliography ah. So dia ada you having difficulties lah. Ah, macam mana nanti nak, nak edit balik. So itu yang the main features yang differences on Mendeley dengan Ennotes ni. Eh, satu Ennotes ni dia license kan? Ennotes kan dia offer senang kita untuk edit kan? Hmm, Tapi Mendeley yeah. tak ada yang part tu. Ah, Mendeley tak ada. So nanti dia punya references tu nanti akan nampak macam Alah, macam mana ni macam mana nak adjust sini tarik sini nak kena adjust kat part ni sini lah. So ke, ke, ada juga bukan kebanyakan There's a certain participants Dia pergi dua-dua Tapi at the end of day dia kata Puan saya tak nak guna Mendeley Sebab saya guna refer tu X-ray Saya guna figure Saya guna charts Yang dalam Mendeley tak ada Bila dia nak masukkan manually That information So so there's a one way uh, Students that already use Mendeley They can convert to endnotes uh, Yang tu kena jumpa librarian Nanti librarian tolong dia uh, Yang tu okay tak masalah So, Tapi kalau kalau dalam kita punya laptop dah ada Mendeley, uh -huh. kita kena keluarkan Mendeley tu ya baru kita boleh guna Ennox. Tak ada. Tak payah. Saya tadi saya ada uh, currently I'm I'm having two software. I have Mendeley desktop and I also have Ennox. So sebenarnya saya tutup je function uh, as in punya uh, ni. Kalau ikutkan Mendeley ada dekat sini kan? Betul? Uh -huh. uh, so saya tutup dia dekat sini je. Pergi dekat file and then you click options. So di bahagian as in Sebenarnya dia ada dah dalam ni. Tapi saya tidurkan dia sekejap. Sleepkan dia, silentkan dia. So dekat parts Mendeley ni. Okay. So saya nak on kan balik. Katalah tomorrow saya ada session Mendeley. So I just manage. I just change to word as in. And then click go. So saya on kan. On kan Mendeley tu. So just click ok. So dia akan insight lah automatically ada. Mendeley as in punya function. Oh, maksudnya kita boleh gunakan dua-dua lah kan. Tak ada masalah. Jadi kita kita uh, stopkan dia sekejap. Ah uh, Yes. Kita macam bagi dia hibernate sekejap. Uh, so we can just proceed je. Because uh, ada orang cakap, eh kena uninstall manually guna. Tak ada. It doesn't matter. If you have both inside your computer, uh, just uh, on off kan saja dia punya as on function. As in tu. Okay. Okay. Ada setengah orang dia pergi main delay, log in Lepas tu dia pergi dekat tools, uninstall ha, Lepas tu nanti bila dia nak guna balik Dia kena install lah, so it's quite hassle lah Just guna je cara yang tadi saya tunjuk tu. Okay. okay, terima kasih banyak Okay, thank you Dr. Azlo Kalila Thank you Assalamualaikum Puan Ya, yeah. salam ah, Maaf ya okay. uh, Puan, nak banyak file and note ni Dia save dekat cloud ataupun our hard drive kalau ada sync dekat cloud, dia dekat EndNote, My EndNote Web. Ha, yang so, dia akan link pada kita punya email? Yep, yang kita register. Alright, kalau kata kita register email student, so once we have graduate, so all the data will be erased lah ke macam mana? Uh, sebab dia, cuba try. Sebab saya tak pernah pula guna email student. Saya biasanya guna Gmail ke guna apa. Ya, yeah. oh, oh maksudnya kalau student tu uh, register email saya pada UITM boleh lah. Boleh. Ah, so, boleh. Okay. okay boleh. And then uh, boleh ke kalau macam kita ada group of students kan? Hmm. Buat benda lebih kurang sama. Boleh ke kita share reference dengan orang? Boleh. Share. Itu, kita boleh add lah orang kat dalam kita punya reference tu. Ah Boleh tapi saya pernah tau add kat sini. Saya pernah uh, share Puan share tapi saya tunggu-tunggu email tu tak teratang pun. Lalasnya senang cara the best way is just copy je ni. Ha, copy je. Jangan lupa mak dengan anak punya folder kena bawa bersama-sama together. I like this both uh, my project yang folder yellow folder and then your endnotes. Copy masuk pen drive and then buka je dekat uh, laptop yang ada endnotes. Okay. And then Puan katalah saya buat, mula saya buat uh, satu pasal education. And then saya pasal engineering. So, I have two files on EndNote. Betul tak? Okay. So, kata saya nak buat satu paper, journal paper on engineering education. Okay. So, bila saya nak reference tu, 
Ayah saya dah tadi dah save dalam dua file endnote tak? Satu file endnote education, satu file endnote engineering. So boleh okay. kita merge? Boleh. Pergi dekat sini. Uh, tadi kita import file kan? Uh, sekarang kita kita macam trading lah. We just use export. Hmm. So export ni, okay. Dekat sini, kita tukar dia jadi XML ataupun kita try. Uh, sometimes dia jadi kerana sometimes dia tak jadi. Uh, tukarkan dia jadi, maknanya kita nak semua ni kita punya yang currently ada dekat projek lain tu kita nak masukkan dalam one kan dalam satu file ah uh, mari kita export nampak dekat sini dia dah mention dah export selected references contohlah this file saya ada my project nak masuk dekat dalam saya punya testing ni pula boleh guna export tadi lah kejap saya try eh ni kita cuba eh ataupun selected kalau nak selected pun boleh dia kita guna function control tadi pun boleh ataupun saya tetulah nak Uh, X, uh, eh, export Tak saya pilih sini XML Eh, dia tak sebab dia Kita try je Kita Download lah Okay, buka balik So daripada sini kita kena bila nak buka kena uh, guna function ni pula import import file ha, dia panjang sikit lah jumpa jalan cerita dia so kat sini so kat sini nampak tak and not xml tadi ha, buat, nampak. Okay. Ha, so kat sini cari balik lah dia ada dekat mana dia ada dekat my download ok so buka lah so, ha, so, file. Okay, so okay. import So nanti dia akan import masuk macam tu cara ni. Dia kena ingat uh, apa? dia punya formula uh, import. Uh, ni dalam masuk dah dalam saya punya testing tu. So dia punya formula uh, export dengan import. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Ok, terima kasih Puan Dri atas presentation yang sangat bagus. InsyaAllah okay. semoga bermanfaat untuk semua-semua peserta. Ok. Ok, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam. Ok. I will stay in few minutes. Mungkin ada yang nak tanya lagi soalan ke, ok. So boleh je just unmute ataupun nak tanya dekat chat lagi. Puan Dri. Okay. Yeah. Puan Dri. Ya. Yeah. Uh, promotekan yang program hari Jumat tu yang program Saiful. Okey, program Encik Saiful ya. Sekejap eh. Dekat kita punya, eh tadi saya dah stop share. Okey, so uh, on Friday we will have one session uh, Microsoft Microsoft Word, uh, MS Word formatting. Okey, so uh, eh, kena join dululah. Uh, Cik Ismail ada dekat chat tak? Letak dia punya link. So. Uh, ada saya dah letak kat link. Uh, ada dekat chat box ada. So the module we will uh, teach you hands on session about Microsoft Word formatting. Uh, so macam mana nak guna template, your ITM, how you can do editing, setting your PC. So this session will be delivered by uh, our librarian from uh, UITM Negeri Sembilan, Seremban 3, uh, Mr. Saiful Isham. So please uh, register uh, because this session dia kena ada pre-register dulu. Okay. So uh, Friday pukul berapa Cik Ismail? 9 pagi sampai 12. Ah, dia lama sikit, 3 hours punya hands on session. So we, you can promote and also register to this session. Okay. Nanti dia akan hantar link tak bila kita dah pre-registration? Biasa. Uh, Biasanya uh, kalau pre-register dia ada hantar link kan? Reminder, reminder macam tu. Ah, Kalau tak ada nanti boleh apa ni tengok dalam Facebook kita orang je ataupun email. Kalau kat UITM Library, dia biasa dah letak dah ke? Tapi sebab link tu, kita tak save lah daripada yang kita register tu. Boleh pakai ni juga kan Cik Ismail, upcoming event ni kan? Ah uh, betul. Ah uh, Upcoming event ni boleh tengok. Uh, so dia biasanya kita akan letak kat situ lah ni nampak. So this session coming soon. So ada session lain dalam yang... Ni, dalam ni dia dah ada, dah ada Google Meet dah? Ah uh, Dah ada dah tu. Ah uh, Dah ada, dah ada Google Meet. So to the rest of the participant, you can just click je lah. Uh, Puan Diana. Ya. Yeah. Yang untuk session uh, sharing, 
session untuk hari Jumaat ni mm-hmm. Student lain boleh uh, boleh join juga kan sebab saya student UITM Syah Alam Open to all Open to all Ah, tapi cuma all. kita punya template ni using UITM punya template Okay kiranya saya perlu buka uh, web ni yang bahagian pita UITM punca, apa? Puncak Alam eh? Eh ke apa? Ah, boleh Puncak Alam pun ada juga part events ni Part events Ah, Part events kalau tak ada pun dekat main campus ada Sekejap main awak kat rumah dalam ni Sekejap ayah kami event Oh kami event kita tak ada Ah, Kami event main campus ada Uh, sebab main uh, website library ni dia kalau yang main library.uitm tu dia memang letak events yang decentralized kan Okay, okay. so boleh promote lah Tapi sebenarnya bagus je kalau student work nak join pun sebab uh, sometimes dia orang just follow je dia punya step uh, Yang membezakan adalah template je uh, Mungkin dia boleh ambil template daripada universiti dia sendiri and dia boleh guna terus Uh, Cik Ismail boleh tak tolong oh. uh, apa ni kopikan Google Meet tu masukkan dekat chat Boleh oh, boleh 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 okay. boleh uh, Senang sikit kita say Terima kasih Sama Boleh uh, apa pun dia Saya nak. saya copy uh, WhatsApp group uh, ni lah uh, untuk yang endnote tu supaya saya boleh bagi link uh, Okay okay uh, boleh boleh Sebentar ya Ada yang minta nombor rujukan ada tadi kat chat kena Kejap 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 eh Ada tadi Cik Ismail hilang dah Dekat atas-atas lagi. Ya? Yeah? Ah, yeah. okay. Untuk program Sabtu uh, Jumat ni, kan yeah. kita ada program tu kan? Hmm. Okay, kita dah, dah keluar Google link yang uh, link tu tak payah nak free register lah kan? Ah, kalau ikut tak tak payah pun tak apa. Cuma sebab kita nak kan uh, ah, kita nak dapat makluman awal lah supaya berapa ah. banyak yang kita boleh kereta kan? Okay, okay. Baik. Just nak tengok ni. Sekejap saya, uh, saya bagi share. Saya share juga ada punya ni lah link untuk WhatsApp supaya dapat dapat maklumat awal juga lah. Puan saya dah sharekan yang apa ni, uh, nombor nombor apa ni, isi tiket. Okay. Okay, so ada lagi soalan? Bagi lima minit. Ha, secara ini, hujung-hujung ni ramai orang nak tanya. Okay, kalau tak ada, uh, saya stop recording. Ya? Puan, yeah? oh, saya mau tanya. Yeah. Tadi bagaimana cara pilih uh, add-on dari Mandalay atau Anot eh, tadi Puan? Sekali lagi bisa coba Mau tengok. disable? Mau disable kan? Oh iya 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 itu Okay so pergi pada file Ya yeah. Okay sudah Sudah pada file Kemudian klik option Okay Sudah option sudah Sudah uh-huh. Then klik pada uh, advance. Advance. Eh, bukan, bukan, bukan. Sorry, terlupa salah klik. Klik pada add in. Add in. Add in. Oh, okay. add in. So okay. di add in ini ada tak jumpa Mendeley dash one point one nine point eight. Ada, ada, uh, ada, uh, ada. So uh, once klik sekali saja. Oh. Kemudian di bahagian manage, manage bawah ini. Manage mana? Manage dekat bawah ni, top uh, bottom. Manage. Um, okay. Ha. Okay. Pilih words add in. Word add in. Okay. Itu maksudnya apa? Uh, kita mau disable kan? Uh, kita mau disable kan function uh, Microsoft Word, uh, Mendeley words add in tu. Sebab oh, nanti dia konflik. Uh, jika tidak, uh, sometimes kan ada student dalam komputernya ada dua-dua. Mendeley ada, EndNotes pun ada. Tapi mungkin dia hari ni mau guna EndNotes saja. Jadi dia harus disable kan uh, Mendeley punya words in. Punya function. Okay. Kalau saya disable kan untuk Mendeley, uh, en, en, bukan Mendeley tapi EndNotes yang disable gimana? Uh, uh, EndNotes tak boleh pakai lah. Uh, uh, saya pakai pakai Mendeley misalnya. Tapi disable untuk EndNotes. Oh, okay, so nanti uh, sama je. Jadi cari balik dekat sini. And not mm-hmm. side while you write ni. Sama. Di bahagian mm-hmm. words add in. Sama je. Klik mm-hmm. go. Kemudian mm-hmm. kita antikkan. Bermakna currently you are using Mendeley to manage you punya uh, uh, add in citation semua. Oh. Uh, so kita okay. just tick dengan antik. So katalah ni saya tutup. Saya tidak antik and notes. Okay. Jadi. Harus, harus pilih kalau satu ya buat. Uh, Harus okay. pilih ya. Uh, kalau katalah tak boleh dua-dua. 
Boleh, tak ada masalah. Cuma sekiranya pada hari tertentu uh, di komputernya sudah ada Mendeley tetapi hari on that particular day you just uh, want to use EndNotes harus di switch off kan? Harus di disable kan Mendeleynya. Tetapi katalah mau guna Mendeley EndNotes dia tidak perlu disable pun tidak ada masalah. Masih bisa boleh function. Yang tak boleh itu macam apa? Yang tak boleh bermakna katalah uh, nanti dia ada keluar macam ni. Katalah bila saya mau site, hmm. dia ada keluar error macam ni. Okay, saya tunjuk. Oh. Yeah, saya tunjuk saya ke site nama Gabriel. Dan nanti dia ada keluar yang ini. Ah, nampak? Ada keluar begini. Kan no edit range ni and then ada kotak-kotak begini. Ah, ini sebab oh. mendelainya jalan tetapi hari ini saya oh. menggunakan okay. Ah, Tapi kalau okay. kata... Mendeley mau digunakan tetapi EndNotes ni tidak perlu disable pun tidak ada masalah. Oh jadi kalau dia ada error seperti itu berarti kita cuba yang buat option tadi tu dengan ya. Atkin itu ya Puan ya? Ya, oh. ya betul. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Terima kasih ya Puan ya. Okey sama. Okay Puan Di, terima kasih. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Salam, terima kasih semua. Thank you to the rest of the participant. Have a nice day. Selamat uh, berbuka puasa. Salam Ramadan and stay safe semua. Take care. Thank you Puan Di. Thank you Puan Di. Uh,